Hi and welcome back. People have been asking me about my views on UFOs. Actually, I have very strong views on the idea of alien life. I've worked on films about astronomy and if you look at our galaxy, which is just one of millions of other galaxies, there are stars out there that are higher in carbon and oxygen than our sun. So potentially they could make worlds like the Earth that, have, that could have carbon-based organisms like us that could live and eventually have civilizations that could produce sophisticated flying craft. But the chances of them coming to our little planet in aluminum spacecraft that look like flying saucers is, in my opinion, pretty low. My take on UFOs is this. 90% of all sightings of genuinely called unidentified flying objects are easy to identify as man-made craft or natural phenomenon. But there are 10% of sightings which are intriguing. I, when I see photographs and film, I immediately dismiss most of the sightings as hoaxes or um, something which is easily explainable. I love seeing film of stuff which is like, hmm, I wonder what that was. Today, I'd like to share with you two new stories. One, a very personal sighting of a UFO in Wisconsin, in the Midwest of the USA, and how that sighting worked. And two, a story which is out there, but not very well known. And I think comes to the nub of the American UFO phenomenon. And that's how the CIA used UFOs to distract the general public from more secret projects. This is true. And we're gonna start with that story today. The Roswell Flying Saucer Crash. We've all heard of this one, but in fact, it was a cover-up. What they found crashed in New Mexico was this strange, metallic, flexible material. Well, it's actually called mylar. It was a new material at the time and was being used by Project Mogul. Project Mogul was a top secret project by the US Army Air Force involving microphones flown on high altitude balloons, whose primary purpose was the long distance detection of sound waves generated by Soviet atomic bomb tests. When the balloon was found, to cover it up, it was described as an alien vehicle. Sandia National Laboratories, well known for producing nuclear triggers and doing other defense work. They built this, Project Trestle. Originally a Cold War project to look at electromagnetic pulse data on whole aircraft. They would release a large electromagnetic pulse and see how the aircraft systems dealt with it. But later, in the 1980s, the same trestle facility was used to help design stealth aircraft. Project Trestle 
is right next to Kirtland Air Force Base in Albuquerque, just on the edge of the Sandier Laboratory Complex. A civilian engineer called Paul Benevitz started picking up strange radar and radio signals emanating from the base. The security officers at Kirtland Air Force Base invited Benevitz into the base and told him they were working on a UFO project called Aquarius. He went home and told the world about Project Aquarius and how Sandia were working on UFO technology and he'd heard it over the radio. This is a true story of how the security services used UFOs to deceive and make fun of people. If you can discredit a genuine researcher and distract them from the real job that you're doing by using alien UFO technology, it works well. And here is my personal UFO encounter. While living in a small town in the Midwest, one evening I got a phone call from my family saying, look out in the West, there's a UFO with lights approaching our city. I looked and saw nothing. My relatives were all standing outside pointing, look at the UFO. So I drove around to see what they were observing. What they saw was a strange orange glow. One of them saw windows with people waving. Others saw the UFO approaching slowly from the sky. It seemed very strange. Was there a more reasonable explanation? So, taking a walk around the block, I saw what it was. A neighbor had put up a new UHF TV antenna directly above an orange sodium streetlight. The evening was slightly breezy. The antenna was waving in the wind. So back at my relative's house, this strange metallic orange waving and glowing thing became an unidentified flying object. It just shows you the truth is out there. Mm -hmm.